Every quarter, owners and decision makers of a business sit down and plan out the strategy for the next three months. It's a chance to realign focus, set goals, and analyze past performance. It's an opportunity to fine-tune operations and see how you're faring against the competition. In the fast-paced race that is the business world, having the best quarterly planning can be the difference between being number one in your industry or being left scratching your head wondering why your ever-elusive goals slipped away again. So here's some tips on how to have the best quarterly planning for your business. Welcome to Scaling for Success. We're all about helping businesses grow profitably, scale, and move to the next level. If you're looking for consultancy and mentorship that really makes a difference, subscribe to our channel or visit the Scaling Management Consultant Group website, links in the description below. In today's video, we're discussing how to have the best quarterly planning for your business. Detail is everything. Some people hate being hung up on details, but if you're a COO or decision maker laying out the groundwork for your year, detail is everything. In fact, the more detail that's put into your quarterly planning, the better off you will be. A well-organized business will already have the data and reporting to flesh out your quarterly planning. Everything from inventory, revenue projections, staffing, production fluctuations, sales figures, and more. With this information, you're not only able to see if your goals are logistically achievable, but it also helps you to avoid any potential pitfalls on the horizon. It also gives you the ability to put some names, numbers, and predictions next to the action points in your quarterly planning. By clearly outlining key performance indicators, goals, objectives, risks, and rewards over four 13-week periods throughout the year, employees tend to have an easier time meeting their goals and objectives over the short term, which ultimately moves the long-term needle as well. Make sure your teams are on the same page. If you stop and take a look at the most successful businesses in the world, they all have one thing in common. Everyone involved from the top down has a clear sense of purpose and understanding as to the role they're playing to aid in the company moving forward. A lot of this purpose and understanding comes from carefully crafted quarterly plans that outline the tasks and deadlines of every team. As a decision maker, it falls on you to make sure that everyone knows the part they're supposed to play in relation to ongoing projects. Every department or team needs to understand their roles, responsibilities, deadlines, and support channels. Without a clear plan delivered to everyone from the CEO down, there's no hope of coordinating an ambitious strategy. Test your teams and add stretch goals. One surefire way to get the most out of your quarterly planning and your teams throughout the year is by adding stretch goals. Stretch goals are a set of extra goals that can be used as a way to really see what your team is made of. It involves taking a reasonable target and stretching it a little farther to inspire determination. For example, say your quarterly goal is to do $150,000 in revenue over the first quarter. When planning, add a stretch goal of $200,000 and see if your teams are capable of turning up the heat and hitting the bigger number. Just keep in mind that if they don't, it's not the end of the world or your business. Remember what the customers say, it's really important. One of the best ways to get ahead in quarterly planning is to remember why you got into the business in the first place. That's right, satisfying the customer. Now, as chief decision maker, we all know how important it is to try to set ambitious goals. Just remember that the ultimate goal of your business is customer satisfaction. So the majority of your goals and objectives should be centered around keeping the customer experience as positive as possible. Check back and see if you have repeat customers. While everyone loves a new contract, Repeat customers are the bread and butter of a business. If you do have repeat customers, dig deeper into the data and find out what drew them back. Use this info to fine tune your quarterly customer strategy. Make it agile. One of the best ways to get the most out of your quarterly planning is to keep it agile and flexible. In some cases, something that was a huge priority in January won't be a big deal in July. The needs of a business can quickly change, and the ability to pivot, adjust, and reallocate parts of your business to respond is crucial for survival. When it comes time for your quarterly planning, it's the perfect time to reevaluate your current efforts and quickly change focus if needed. Be realistic. Include the negatives. The truth is, if running a business was risk-free, everyone would do it. One of the biggest mistakes someone just starting out can make in planning their business quarters is being overly optimistic. New owners and operators tend to get caught up on what could potentially happen and not include the proper risk assessment in the quarterly plan. Sure, it's nice to think that all you're going to do is knock your KPIs out of the park, but what if you don't? What if your team struggles and you miss your goal for the quarter? It's always better to include situations of potential failure in quarterly plans. 
By outlining your potential points of weakness, your company is not only being transparent about what can go wrong, it's also being proactive in establishing protocols to use as solutions in the event of these situations as well. What factors are involved? When trying to plan for the future, decision makers always have to consider the possibility that external factors could derail the company's strategy. Is there a big launch happening on another team that will pull resources away from your own? Is one of your team members going on vacation? Or is there some other type of organizational announcement? By taking the time to focus on other things that are not directly in your sphere of control, decision makers can plan to avoid most of the issues that will arise due to these factors. Brainstorm. Get others involved. Let's face it, sometimes other people have the answers that you need and they're sitting in the meeting with you. One way to truly get your quarterly planning to its best level is by brainstorming for goals and objectives with the entire team. Not only does it foster an inclusive work environment by allowing everyone to get involved in the planning process, but it also promotes creativity in the workplace and allows everyone to have a say in direction the company is moving. Also, don't be afraid to use brainstorming exercise to get everyone involved if they don't want to participate. Bringing out the best in your quarterly planning isn't always an easy task, and there are certain things you should remember. For example, details everything. The more detail you put in your quarterly plans, the better off you will be. Make sure your teams are on the same page with a clear understanding of their responsibilities and add stretch goals in order to see how motivated your teams really are. Also, don't forget that the needs of a business are ever-changing, and that it's important to keep your quarterly plan agile in case it needs to be changed quarterly. Lastly, you should remember that even though it's important to keep the higher-ups happy, the customer experience is always more important. Keep all this in mind and you'll have the best quarterly business plan around. If you're looking to identify areas of operations to work on, the right advice is priceless. As business consultants and COOs, we work with entrepreneurs every day to set them up for success by identifying where their business is suffering. We help them pinpoint which processes to reevaluate and adjust to grow their business. And best yet, we offer hassle-free, no-obligation, 30-minute discovery calls to see how we could help you. Just email us today. That's all we have time for in today's video, how to have the best quarterly planning. Like this video if you found it helpful. And for more content just like this, subscribe to our channel or visit the Scaling Management Consultant Group website at scalinggrp.com.